Now it is time to import and transform the data. The question often is, which step do I do in which tool? Now, do I import these three small tables of staff from the different stores into Power BI and then append them there? Or do I just patch them together here and import them as one table, which is probably the smartest thing to do. Also, I can extract the store ID with the left function here, because as we see the staff IDs in Bucharest begin with a one and the store ID of Bucharest is one. Budapest two and uh, Sofia three. So it's probably best to do this like this. Copy it down, do that for all the store data and then just copy them together. Did that quickly, now we can import that. For the sales fact tables, of course, that does not make sense because they're in a different currency each. So I will need a different structure to first convert the currencies and then append in Power BI. And of course, since also the salaries are in different currencies, but we don't need them. We have the, the personal cost in another table. So get rid of that. Now the importing is going to be pretty straightforward. We, they're all in the same format. They're all Excel tables. So we just get them from here. Select the table needed. And I like to go from here directly to the Power Query Editor and then import the rest from there. The headers were promoted automatically. The data types were all recognized by Power BI. So yeah, and it's just gonna be the same, almost the same steps. Of course, here you don't um, you don't have the get data here, you have the new source button, but they're all Excel workbooks. So it's going to be the same for each table. Sometimes when you import from Excel, you get a lot of null columns and null rows, quite interesting. Deleting the columns is very easy and here just keep rows, keep the top six rows in this case and all set. All imported, not much transformation needed. In the first step, Power BI did almost everything by itself. Now the fact sales table may appear to have the same structure, but they are in different currencies. So in the next installment, we're going to convert the currencies.